Welcome back to Clumsy Dog. For our Thanksgiving Day meal prep series, we're going to be doing some potatoes for y'all. We're going to do them three ways, giving you some options. The first is going to be a hash brown potato casserole. Then we're going to do some in the Hasselback style using our Zumi's barbecue rub. And then third, we're going to be doing the old tried and true mashed potato. We got the classic mashed potato and the garlic mashed potato. Then, for reasons unknown, we're going to rank them based off of our own personal preferences on how hard they were to put together and, of course, how good they taste. We now have to rank the potatoes, both on complexity, how hard they were to put together, how long they took, and 
What's the other thing we should rank them on? Taste. Flavor. Which one tastes the best? Yeah. So we've got your standard smashed potatoes. You got a potato casserole dish. And you got the Hasselback. The Hasselback we have seasoned with our Zumi's rub. And the lemon on there just, it slaps. It's something else, isn't it? It's good. It's so good. It's so good. So which one do you want to start with? Start with this hash brown casserole. Okay. So you talk to the people. How hard was this for you to put together? This is super easy. Bag of frozen hash browns, a little bit of condensed soup, mm. um, cheese, sour cream. I like it. It's creamy. It's cheesy. So good. It's got little crunchy bits on the top, you know, from the... I could eat that. You put some sausage in there, you got a whole meal. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, that's that's good. That's a solid. All right, so out of five, what would you give it? I'd give it a six. Yeah, I mean. I give it six out there. of five. It's yeah. really easy. And another part of it, too, is like, so the Hasselback ones, like, you have a whole potato. So you imagine your guests coming and you give everybody a potato that you spent all this time putting together. And they might be, well, I don't, I don't want a potato. You know, it's like, well, too bad. You have a potato now because I spent five minutes cutting the dang thing. Right? So, but this, you guys have a big month. Some of it, one scoop, no scoop. You know, we offered it to the kids at one point, too. And they're like, yeah, we don't like casserole. It's like, well, they don't know what they're talking about. They're just, they're just insane. So. A another good thing about this hash brown casserole is you can freeze the leftovers. Yeah. It's super easy. Freeze it, pull it back out later, and pop it in the if oven. If there's any leftovers, you can yeah, freeze it. for sure. But I like that. So I'm going to give that a 6 out of 5. Yeah. What's your ranking? I'll, I'll go with 5. I'll stay with the... Okay. Stay in the... Well, that's number range. 1. All right, so now we got our classic smashed yeah, potatoes smash. here. Okay, so there's two different versions here. This is regular. Regular. So it's just got butter, um, half and half, all that kind of good stuff. This one has garlic in it. Mm-hmm. Because I like a good garlic mashed potato. Out of these two, I like the garlic. Yeah, perfect. Out of these two dishes, I still like the casserole. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's good. It's a good I'm going to give it potato. a four out of nine. Wait, we changed no, the ranking No, three, three out of nine. So three out of nine. Three out of five? Whatever. I heard it both ways. Um, but yeah, I like the garlic one better, but I'm not going to kick you out of bed if you give me the regular one either. Man, real butter, real butter makes everything. Home, homemade smash, homemade anything is just, it's good. Yeah. I mean, there's, it's going to be, it's going to be a, a potato dish on the plate with your turkey and your cranberry, you know, and your noodles and all that. So it's just a little thing that gets in the way until you can get to the turkey, right? Yeah. All right. So now the Hasselback, how were these to put together? Cause I watched you do oh, it and goodness. that was hilarious. It was very difficult. So you did the cutting, the initial cutting, and yeah, it, it On takes one of them, and then I gave up. You, you. Um, and then you stuff butter in between each one, so that takes forever. Right. And then, if you put cheese, then you have to go back after it's cooked for a while and put more things in between. Little Just keep doing premises. stuff and doing stuff to it. Now, I can appreciate extra effort on a dish and it being this next level dish, right? And they have their place for sure, but but when you're so busy doing everything else, I'm I'm gonna say this so, is not what you want to. Well, I'm doing the on. cheese one first. Okay. It's a good potato. That rub slaps. It is. I think the rub, the rub and the butter make it. Yeah. I like the cheese one better. But I can go either way. Yeah. And you could also put like sour cream on yeah. top after it was done. What if I dunk this one in the mashed potato like that? Kind of put them together. Do that with the garlic one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's potatoes, people. It's potatoes. It all comes down to how easy it is to do. Like your focus during the Thanksgiving is going to be on the turkey, right? And then probably the desserts and stuff. The potatoes should be as easy as possible. And for that reason, that's why I think the Hasselbacks are not going to do it. Unless somebody can comment down below, maybe we just absolutely did it the hardest way possible, which is kind of our style. Yeah. So if you have an easier way to do it. But also for me, I'll go back to the thing. It's like not everybody's going to want a potato. And you're going to be giving them a, a, a big golden potato being like, here's your potato, Nana. 
And she's like, I don't eat potato. <laughs> like, well, I spent 20 minutes making it, so you should you should eat it. Um, so I've got another thing, too. So for that reason, the complexity, will you go? So, so this can only be made day of. Like, you can't do a Hasselback potato before. True, very true. You can build that hash brown casserole the night before and just pop it in the oven You couldn't eat time. these up? You could, but it wouldn't be as good. Okay. But that, it's going to be amazing. Mm -hmm. And the same thing with the mashed potatoes. I actually boiled these potatoes yesterday. And then I got them out today, chopped them up. I did stick those in the microwave with some butter and, and half and half. Um, mm -hmm. this, Look, the Hasselback absolutely has its place, but I don't think it's on a busy day. No, you got so much other stuff going on on Thanksgiving. You got your monster-in-laws running around everywhere and... You know, kids are running around screaming. Yeah, everybody's hungry. You're you're wrangling, and yeah, no. Well, I do like that. It is a good potato, for sure. So for a, for the Thanksgiving Day ranking, what would you put them in? First, second, and third. Hash brown casserole first. Okay. Garlic mashed potatoes second. Mm -hmm. Regular mashed potatoes third, and this fourth. Solely based off of complexity. Solely based on complexity. Okay. I mean, I feel like you're kind of copying off of me because that's how I would have done it too. <laughs> so, I guess we're out, we're we have a consensus. So, casseroles first, garlic second, regulars third, Hasselback only because of the complexity of them, right? If you find yourself on Thanksgiving Day with an extra thirty minutes to do nothing, yeah. you can I do one or two of them and see how people like. But you're either going to give it to everybody or you're not going to give it to anybody, right? That's Kind of where I land. I'm actually absolutely going to eat the rest of that. Yeah. But yeah, again, if we did that wrong, let us know. You know. We probably we did. probably did it wrong. <laughs> but I mean, you got to go to casserole because it's not just a casserole either, right? Like you have the potatoes in there, yeah. but you have the cheese, and you have the cream. Yeah. It's almost a palate it's cleanse in between other yeah. dishes because you think of it on the plate, right? I'm actually I'm going to switch it up for that reason. And to be different from you. I'm going to go one is the casserole, two is the regular potatoes. Okay. The regular smash, and then three is the garlic, and then we have the hassle back and forth for complexity only. Yeah. And I say that for the garlic because I want the star on that plate to be the turkey, right? Yeah. I don't want there to be this other garlic popping in there too. I'm just trying to be different, you know, because you told you you stole my my order. I did, I did, I copied. Yeah, just, cheaters, cheaters. All right, well, this has been the potato episode. Stay tuned for more. We're gonna be covering all the dishes that it takes to put together a Thanksgiving meal. If you like this kind of comment content, subscribe, like, do all that, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you. You can say thank you too. Thank you. Oh, and if there's anything else you want to see, let us know. We will certainly take it under advisement. That's how you eat that. Yeah. Boom! Yeah. <laughs>